Hey, what's going on, dudes? My name is TDC, and welcome back to some more Unturned here on the Gangz server. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic today. So, today, I think we're going to head out. We're going to do some looting, try to pull some weight around here. Um, I haven't been on, actually, for a couple of days, so I'm kind of curious to see how much bigger this base has gotten. Um, I think these guys stay pretty hard at work here. We are on right now. Cubulus is on, but I don't think he's around here anywhere because I don't see his nameplate. But, um, yeah, so check it out. Last episode, we picked out our bedroom over here, and I have done a little bit of work. I'm still learning my way around here. Um, I had to learn how to do the crafting stuff, man, because it took me forever to figure out what all I needed. And it looks like somebody has added on to this because I don't think this was here before. Um, <laughs> but I made a torch, so that was kind of cool. And I made some wooden crates, so now I've got a little bit of storage here. I've got some food and just all my random junk that I've been picking up along the way. So that's kind of handy. Um, we've got a few bandages that I've made. i got a bunch of lettuce, and I've actually got a bunch of crap on here that I need to put away. So let's get out of there. Is that going this one or this one? I think it goes in this one. Let's see. So I believe that I can control right click yeah there we go and it'll throw it all into the inventory that we're looking into so let's get rid of all these sticks and junk that we don't need right now and we'll throw the scrap metal in there too so we good I think that we are good to go and let's just do a little bit of inventory management here pull this bandage back up here so last time I was on I did a little bit of scouting at one of the little locations that was kind of close to here. Let's see if I pull up my map. Um, I went down and checked out Zavad and it looks like that's where Cubulus is right now. So we probably, I don't know if we want to go back there. That seemed kind of like a military or not a military. What was it? Oh no, it wasn't military because they were doing like tanks and stuff there. There's a bunch of the green guys. So we may go check out Zavad again and see what all we can find though. It's probably been looted already by Cube. So We'll see what happens, but we're just going to kind of head off into a direction. But last time I was on, um, I ran into Fox, and he actually helped me out a little bit. He ended up giving me a GPS, which was kind of really cool of him. And uh, he didn't kill me, so we called Truce, and that was like right around here at the Zavad spot here. And it looks like there might be something here. I'm not even going to try the military base because that just sounds dangerous. Um, but we may see if there's like some farms or something right here along the main road. So let's see. I think that we are pretty much all set. Now I gotta remember how to get out of this place. <laughs> I think this is too low. But I don't know for sure. Oh god! There's a cow in there. Maybe that's somebody's pet cow? I'm not I'm not real positive. If I fall off there, I'm gonna die. Let's just find the actual entrance here. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> this place is a maze. Um, uh, is it through here? Yeah, there we go. So I'm learning. Let's close the doors behind us. But yeah, so I guess we are going to just head off in a direction. Let's pull up the map again one more time. Um, so we basically need to go straight out here. We're going to hit the road, and then we'll just kind of follow the road for a little bit. And I'm hoping that maybe we can find some sort of vehicle to bring back to the place. I think that'd be kind of cool. So, man, this place is massive. These guys have been doing a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. All right, well, let's go see what we can find. All right, so we're coming up on Moscow. Now, I actually came here with Cube and Lapis a few days ago, last time I played. And I think that he might have just passed through here, so he might have collected all the good stuff if it hasn't respawned. It's been a little while, but I figure we might as well go in and try to see what all we can find. I'm really looking for a bunch of stuff to get some scrap metal to repair, some of that sort of stuff. There's binoculars, hammer... This is all good stuff. This is stuff that I need starting off with. Um, black sweater vest. Nothing. I think the stuff sticks out of these if there's something in them. So I'm not even going to bother really trying to look inside there and see what all is happening. But it looks like there's something up there. Is that a potato? Nah. We got plenty of food. Uh, at least lettuce anyway. Eggs? No thank you. But I haven't been here on my own yet, and this place is huge, so I am a little nervous, and I'm hoping it's not one of those crazy blood moon things that happen every so often, because that would be kind of um, 
bad for business. Alright, so let's get rid of that. Let's salvage these hammers. Uh, what else we got? We got another pair of binoculars, I do? Yeah. Oh, we can't salvage the binoculars. So we'll take those. That'll be just kind of like a uh, backup pair. So I'm not real sure. It is the moon. Is full moon bad? I think it is. We got the little red mark. Full moon bad? Bad news? <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Let's see if maybe we can get in this house. We can bunker down for the night. That may not be a bad idea. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Oh, well, great. They do more damage and they sense us from further away. Well, I picked the, like the best time to log on, huh? <laughs> uh, well, it should be entertaining for you guys at least. Flashlight. We may head out of Moscow and see if we can find a farm. I would like to find a chainsaw uh, of my own because the chainsaw is what we need to cut down trees and stuff. So I think that might be our best bet here. Let's see if we can get back up out of town and find a farm. I think that we will probably have to go I don't know, man. Um, a little s more south. Looks like all the farms and stuff are down here. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe we'll work our way down south. Alright, so we've made it. Back to the farmers, man. <laughs> um, now let's see. I am kind of nervous because it is the full moon thing. And I'm wondering if we can still kind of sneak up on these guys. Or if it's just completely we're dead sort of thing. Um, I guess we'll find out. Okay. Oh, they give us more experience too. That's nice. Uh, I know it is dark for you guys. I'm, did, I tried to lighten things up after if, and like after effects um, and like post post editing editing the video and stuff like that so hopefully that makes a difference I feel like it does and hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much chainsaw perfect that's what we were here for because once the chainsaw runs out it runs down to zero but it doesn't break and you can still use it to cut down trees is what I that's what I wanted it for anyway so we'll see if we can actually make our way home with it now we gotta loot the rest of the town while we're here though see anything good up here it's so dark it's hard for me to see paintball gun whatever that is whatever that does I don't know if it does damage or not probably not I'm guessing tape I'm sure tape is always useful and it looks like that was it Oh no, green duffel bag. Can I put the duffel bag on? What do I have on right now? Do I have purple day, day pack, equip. Green duffel bag. Hmm, I wasn't paying attention. I feel like that's more space. But I could be wrong. Okay, I think this is this house has been cleared. So now we can move outside. Is Q back on? He said he was bouncing for a second. It looks like it's just me on the server right now. That's okay. That's okay. Be brave. Be strong. We can do this. <laughs> 
that guy see me. Wow, I was like really far away. There we go, we got him. We're getting the hang of this. Did you drop anything? No. Okay, so. Wow, man, they really can't see you from far away. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Farmer bottoms. That's just more cloth for us. That's good. Anything in the uh, windmill here? I think last time we went in here, there wasn't anything. Lettuce seeds. Some ammo. That's not bad. I think that's it. Man. That eye is like a hawk. What did you drop? Low caliber civilian ammo. Times 13. Alright, not bad. Now, what do we have here? Is that a runner? That's a runner, dude. He's definitely going to give us some damage. If we run into that guy, it could be some problems. These guys I'm not too worried about. We can take them out. Those guys, not so much. So... I feel like maybe this is a bad idea. There he is. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh god, run. <laughs> bad idea going in there. Um oh no no. No no no. What? Woodland crossbow. The server's down? Is it the reset? Oh no! We're logging back in. I do not know what's gonna happen. We were getting chased down by zombies, so let's just keep booking it this way and do not look back. So I think we made it out okay. <laughs> oh, that scared me so bad. Um, Alright, well, I guess let's go ahead and heal up here for a second. Get some health back. I don't have any of the really good healing ones. And that's pretty much going to take them all, isn't it? Oh, I guess we do have a bunch of stuff here that we can craft into more bandages. Um, craft a rag. Let's just craft as many rags as we can make. Is that all we got? Some more ammo. Craft bandage. Hawk around. No, we don't need that. Can I craft another? No. Okay, so I think we're good for a little bit longer. Um. Let's see. What's off in this direction? Where are we going? We got another farm over here we can go check out. Alright, well, we might have big problems because my infection level dropped below 50% and now it's just going down slowly over time so we need to get over to this farm and try to kill some of these guys hoping that maybe they can drop some antibiotics or something I really doubt that we're gonna find any here but I guess it's worth a shot if we're gonna die we might as well die over here right but I do have a I have a map and all that kind of stuff on us so that's kind of a bummer I don't know if we'll be able to get back <laughs> you drop anything? Come on, man. I need good stuff. I'm gonna stay away from that thing, too. <laughs> Gimme. Give Gimme Give the good stuff. Nothing. Probably not gonna find anything good here. Tomato seed. take out some of these guys and hopefully they drop something probably not gonna happen <laughs> no didn't think so 
25%. Oh, and he hit us too. That's not good. 20%. Perfect. Nothing? Come on, man. Come on. We need the goods. All right, we'll go check the house. If we're going to find it anywhere, I bet you it's the house. Some glue. A hammer. White duffel bag. Uh, come on, come on. Hockey stick. Lettuce. Tomato. No antibiotics. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay, well, this might be the end for old TDC. I don't want to squirrel with that guy over there. 9%. Oh, Great. Yeah, we're going to die. We going to die. Unless this guy. You got you got pills in your pocket, bro? <laughs> pills in his pocket dang it dude all right well I'm gonna try to uh, get somewhere memorable <laughs> that way we can work our way back over here and grab our stuff because I do not want to lose all this right now that would be a bummer I think we only have like 15 minutes to get there uh, so maybe we can start working our way back up to the spot Let's see, we're going to stick to the main road. Oh, it's only Cubon. I think it'll be okay. We'll get there. Alright, well, we made it to the camp. So let's see, I pretty much used all of my bandages to keep myself alive here. Just to give me a little bit more health. So maybe we can sneak in here real quick and see if we can find any sort of painkillers or antibiotics and stuff like that. But I really am doubting that you can find that stuff in places like this. Um, we'll find out, but if I get hit some more, we're pretty much done for. Maple arrow. I don't think we're going to find anything here. Anything? Tomato. Chocolate bar. Maybe we'll get lucky one of these guys will drop something, but he just hit us, so that's it. Goodbye, cruel world! We are done for. Let's get out of the house. That way when we come back, we're not here. Um, let's see. Main road is over here. Yeah. All right, so we'll plan our death accordingly. Let's get out to the road. Ugh. Close. There we go. So now we can just respawn and get all the way back over here. We got 15 minutes, man. Whew. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, uh, you know what? That was dumb. I should have just respawned at the, uh, at the place. But at least now I can grab my GPS. Oh, we're almost there. It's somewhere right around here. It might have been on the opposite side, though. Let's follow the street around. Unless that's it right there. I don't think so because the town is over here let's see I think we're more up like on this side so kind of like maybe right around over there somewhere so we'll follow the the road around and see what we can see um yeah so I still suck at this game pretty terribly I've always been pretty bad at these uh, zombie survival games DayZ all that kind of stuff never very good at that um, <laughs> just all these kind of games it's just like eh. I'm not very good at them. I'm gonna have to. Is it? It's not necessarily that there's a learning curve. It's just you got to be very cautious, and I'm not a very cautious gamer. I tend to like just rush and get things done and go, go, go. But it doesn't always work. But all right, so we got all of our stuff back for the most part. Let's just try to pick everything up here. Can we hold everything? 
Very nice. Um, yeah, not bad. We got everything back, it looks like. So that is sweet. I want to put... Uh, let's put this here. I want my knife back on my hotbar. What was that noise? I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> Freaking me out, man. Um, all right. Well, since now we're here and we've got full health, I feel like we need to raid this place again to get all the good stuff. Hopefully, well, I was going to say, hopefully there's not a lot of zombies, but there's a lot of zombies. Do things respawn that quick? Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe. I guess so. I swear we looked in here before. Some more stuff here. Wetsuit. I think that gives us metal. Alright, come on, buddy. There we go. Whoa. If you misclick like one time, that's pretty much it. That's where you get all the damage. Need to uh, upgrade our sneak thing a little bit. I don't think I. I think I got that one and then I died, and I'm not sure we ever got it back. <clears throat> not sure though. We'll see. But I think I'm moving a little bit quicker. Before I was trying to kill these things while I was crouched, and I don't think that really makes a whole lot of sense. You need to be standing up, to move a little bit faster. Come here, dude. <laughs> Ooh, what'd you drop? A compound bow? Oh, we don't have enough room. Um, I brought a lot of food with us. Let's just scrap some of this stuff. Now can we pick this up? Oh, we can. How cool is that? Does that have to be on one, though? Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Looks like it. Um, oh, we need more space for that. All right, so I think it's R. Yeah, there we go. Then we can place these things around. Oh, come on. Give me this. All right, we'll drop this, put the compound bow there, and we'll pick this guy up. And we'll put our knife back. So we do have one shot with this. Let's see if we can take out this runner dude. Oh, so nice. This thing is cool, man. I'm not going to waste it on him. What did you drop? Bread? Yeah, I don't want bread. That's okay. Is there another runner in here? No, but there is this guy. Oh, we got to reload. Huh. I wonder if we can repair this thing. We'll take a look in just a second. There's some more shells, man. We need a shotgun. Pick up eggs. What are eggs good for? Anything, I wonder? A lot more shotgun shells. Or one more, at least. Flashlight. What are you? A maple arrow? So I guess that means we got two shots in our little crossbow thing now. Uh, reload, please. Thank you. Can we get it? <laughs> can. There we go. What did you drop? Nothing. I'll just take this guy out with a knife. There we go. There's one of the spitter guys. Uh, 
what else we got? We just got this tent. Not this tent, but this house, right? <sighs> Getting lots of experience, though, so that's good. Oh, what is that? I see something in there. What is this? Oh, it's a fishing rod. I thought it was a sword, man. I was all excited. Um, do we have anything else that we can turn into scrap? Salvage. We'll do two of those. Inventory. Yeah, we got a bunch of junk here. I guess we really should just head back and, uh, can we refill? Inventory. So what does that do? It just combines them? You can only hold two. Okay. That frees up a little bit of space. What's that? Corn. Corn is disgusting. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to kind of work our way out of here. And uh, get back to base. So, let's see. I want to kill one of these guys with that arrow. <laughs> But it's like they're not strong enough, or like the crossbow is not strong enough. <gasps> Canteen! Ooh, I want that. Um, drop. Can we put these anywhere else? We can put those here. R. I'm trying to remember all the keys. Put that there. Put this here. You can take the canteen. Nice. Oh, can we actually pick those up, too? Cool. Now we need our arrow, though. Oh, we can't pick that up? No! Uh, now we should be able to pick it up. Perfect. All right. Well, now we're going to work our way back home. Because I feel like it was a pretty good run today. Compound bow, chainsaw, not bad. Hmm. I really kind of want that truck. <laughs> At least get it to uh, take it as far as we can. Let's see if we can like sneak our way into it. We'll get our knife out. Hopefully we can just jump in it and go. It's got 26% fuel. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. I don't remember how to reverse. There we go. We're reversing. Let's go. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna bounce. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at driving in this thing. Is there another car on the way? I feel like that thing is like right behind us, man. Oh, there goes the car. <laughs> oh god, okay, we're running. I think I'm faster than him if I'm looking straight forward, but if I turn around, he is much, much quicker than me. Oh! <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we can find another car. All right. So we are almost back to base, but I figured before the sun goes down, I can show you kind of like what I actually we may not be able to. <laughs> I don't have much room to work with here. Um, let's see. Move some scrap metal up here. Actually, you know what? With the crap, the crap metal, the scrap metal. I want to try to make a saw, and I think it's under tools. Or one of these. How do you? Where is saw? I can make makeshift armor. Let's see, what am I? Oh, I probably need wood for a saw. If I were to guess. is all this stuff ornamental barbed wire fence okay I don't really need that ladders I don't know what these things are cedar makeshift vehicle yeah I'm not seeing saw any here uh, but yeah so apparently we can use the scrap metal for making a saw and then once we have the saw that we can craft down the logs that we use with this guy so let's see I don't think I'm really going to be able to do anything here, so let's just drop. Actually, let's get over close to a tree, and I can show you what the chainsaw does. If we get over here, we'll drop this dude on the ground, and we'll equip this guy. 
Now, can we pick this back up? No, that takes four, four slots, and I don't have enough room. But anyways, with the chainsaw, we can use this, and we just sit here on the tree, and it cuts them down super, super fast. So we can do this with a knife, but it's much, much quicker with the chainsaw. And even though the chainsaw has a percentage, um, once that actually runs to zero, it still works, which is nice. Um, and then you can just sit out here, you can farm logs and farm experience, and that's another one of the big reasons why I wanted a chainsaw, so I could just harvest experience. I know I know that we have chainsaws back at base and stuff, and I'm not real worried about, you know, we could have used um, the chainsaws that they had, but I wanted to actually go out and find one of my own, so that's just kind of how I want to play, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, so now what I'm going to be working on is basically just kind of getting my experience up, and that way when we go out, we're a little bit quieter, we're a little bit tougher, and uh, you know we're able to actually do some useful stuff. Let's see, so Ty is on now, but he is over in Moscow. I think he's probably working his way back towards base, and if I remember correctly, we're somewhere right up here in these hills. But anyways, dudes, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. It is getting really late for me, so I need to get bedded down. But anyways, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon for another episode here on the GangZ server. Hopefully with some cool stuff made. I'm going to try to figure out this whole crafting thing and see if I can memorize it a little bit better than what I have now. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyways, dudes, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.